Hi, yeah, welcome to my channel. I'm filming the writer's not writing pack today because the lovely Danny tagged me for this about three months ago and I have no idea where those three months have gone. I went back to look at what date he tagged me on exactly and I'm just like amazed that it was that long ago. I am so sorry. But without further ado, here are a bunch of answers to questions that no one asked, although technically Danny asked me. So this is basically like a Q&A, but all the questions are from Danny. Question one, do you have a day job? Yes, I work full time as an electronic engineer. Question two, are you also a reader? The short answer is yes, although I feel like I've been brainwashed into thinking people can only call themselves readers if they read at least 10 books per month, which is not the case for me. I read maybe one or two books per month, but yes, I am still a reader. Question three, what are some of your other hobbies? Ah, dearie me. <laughs> If you've been following my channel for a while, you're probably already expecting a pretty long answer, so settle yourself in, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> my main hobby outside of writing is art, which I do a lot of traditional and digital art. I've been really trying to get better at digital painting lately. I also enjoy a bunch of other crafts, such as crochet. Cross-stitching has been something that I've been getting into recently. I like bookbinding, stamp carving, and the occasional sewing project when I'm visiting my grandma. I also still consider game development to be a hobby of mine, even though at this point I've been on a three-year unplanned hiatus from it. And I'm also into a bunch of different sports, such as ice skating, rollerblading, and slacklining, although I haven't been able to do any of those three things recently because the world is kinda crazy right now. So to summarize, I have far too many hobbies, but most of them are dormant right now, and I still cycle through things a lot because otherwise I would go insane. Question four, coffee or tea? Tea, preferably green, preferably jasmine, and preferably about five times a day. Fun fact, this is actually not jasmine tea because when I went to make myself some before this video, I realized that I only have one bag of jasmine left and I'm not getting any groceries for a while and like, how am I gonna live? <laughs> it's still pretty good though. <laughs> Question five, what are you passionate about? Okay, I couldn't figure out a good answer to this question, so I asked my boyfriend for his opinion, and he went with writing. However, I feel like having writing as the answer to a tag video called writers not writing is cheating. So I am going to go with creating things, because that encompasses more of a combination of all of my hobbies, I think. Question six, do you have any pets? Yes. I have a lot of pets, hold on. So these babies are collectively known as the Blues, but we've got Zephyria, Neptune, and Blueberry Muffin. These are Dave and Sebastian. Sebastian was my first dinosaur, so he holds a very special place in my heart, but I love all of my dinosaurs equally. This is Banana, she's tiny, and I love her. Coffee, the older brother of the family, and their latest edition, Hand Custard. However, I'm not sure I would call them my pets as such, I think they're more of my life companions. Question seven, as a child, what was your dream job? Obviously I wanted to be a writer, but I also cycled through stages of wanting to be an architect, a teacher, scientist, journalist, and eventually engineer. Question eight, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Probably Japan. I had the absolute pleasure that I got to live there for a whole six months, about a year ago, and I definitely wouldn't mind going back. However, the UK, which is where I live now, is probably a very close second, so. Question nine, do you speak any other languages? Spanish is my native language, so obviously Spanish and English are the main ones. I used to be fluent in German, although I am very, very rusty. It's been many years since I've had to use it. And I'm also like a low intermediate-ish level in French and Japanese. And the final question, what kind of music would we find in your collection? Honestly, whatever the YouTube mix algorithm recommends to me is probably what I'm gonna end up listening to. I tend to listen to most of my music when I'm drawing and my hands aren't free to like change tabs or change songs or even like figure out what it is that I'm listening to like half the time. I don't even know what the song is called that I'm listening to, I just have it in the background. But some favorites that I do keep going back to are Mumford and & Sons and Nathan Wagner. And since that was the final question, I now get to tag people. <laughs> I'm going to tag Violet because Danny also tagged Violet and she mentioned that her tag video ended up in her YouTube video graveyard. So this is like a little nudge for her to try again because she said that she was planning on refilming it at some point. And I'm also going to tag Crystal because I find it funny to have all four chaos screens in one video. And that is everything for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a lovely day and a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>